Hello everyone, this is Ange. Welcome to another episode of the Visual Novel Monthly Recap. This is a video series where I highlight news related to major visual novel releases in the community for each month. In this video, I'll highlight anything that happened in October of 2020. Let's get started. Iwai Hime, a visual novel written by Ryukushi of Higurashi in Umineko fame, was announced and released by Shira VN. It's a linear, darker mystery visual novel, so anyone who likes these stories should look into it. There's also a demo if you're not sure whether to get it right away. For those who are fans of If My Heart Had Wings, there are pre-orders that have started for a physical version on Switch. There's even a limited version that has items like a keychain and a soundtrack. Just keep in mind that you can't access the 18 plus retranslation on the Switch. For anyone following the Akatsuki no Goe fan translation, the main translator posted an update on its current status and that it's in the process of being retranslated. There's a whole blog on it, but the long story is that Akabe Soft 3 wanted to buy the TL with Sekai Project and release a version with no swears or 18 plus content. After a long back and forth, Akabe Soft 3 started to not be interested anymore, so this led to the translator starting a smaller team to retranslate the visual novel. Robotics Notes Elite and its sequel, Robotics Notes Dash, have been released on Steam, PS4, and Switch. Reading previous visual novels in the Science Adventure series, like Steins Gate or Chaos Head, is sometimes recommended before starting Robotics Notes. Unfortunately, there have been some complaints about the official localization of both visual novels, although mostly Elite. Some people complain about the editing of the images to include English text, basically treating it like they were subtitles instead of removing the Japanese text first. Similarly, there are complaints about the translation not following the Japanese text at certain points. The Committee of Zero, a fan translation group that made localization patches for previous visual novels like Stein's Gate, plan on making a patch to fix these complaints for the Steam version sometime in the future. For any Otome fans who liked Steam Prison, Manga Gamer released DLC for the Finn route. Phantom Breaker Omnia, a 2D fighting game that has Rimi from Chaos Head and Courtesy from Steinsgate as playable characters, is announced to be coming out in English in 2021. If you're interested in a very dark visual novel with some aspects of girls' love, Jazz released Sadistic Blood by Black Psych. Just keep in mind this game will include scenes of intense blood and violence. If you like Girl 18 Plus content similar to Manga Gamer's Maggot Baits, this can be something to check out. The Muff Love localization team announced that Kimiga Nozomu Ayan Visual Novel, also known as Rumbling Hearts, is getting an English release in the future. If you've read Muff Love, you may recognize a few cameos from Kimi Nozo in there. For any big science adventure fans out there, a new visual novel called Anonymous Code will be released in Japan in 2021. Just don't expect this visual novel to be released in English anytime soon, as the one visual novel in the same setting, Occultic 9, isn't in English yet. They later revealed it will release roughly in autumn of 2021 for PS4 and Switch. For those following the Muv Love Alternative anime adaptation news, a new 2 minute trailer was released and confirmed the anime will be released sometime in 2021. There's a new Steins project that has been announced. It's been reported to be compared to how Chaos Child is a Chaos Head. Basically, it will have similar storytelling to Steins Gate, but will have different characters. Key announced 4 new projects. There's Prima Doll, that will be a mixed media and not limited to just a visual novel. Project Looper will be a kinetic visual novel written by Ryukishi07. Project Lunar will be a kinetic visual novel written by Matsuyama Takashi and will release in 2021. Project Porter will be a kinetic visual novel written by Romeo Tanaka and will release in 2021. Keep in mind the release dates are only for Japan for now. Salamandra88 has unfortunately passed away. She created visual novels such as Three Nights in Cairo, Escape from the Princess, and The Harris of Sorcery. Rest in peace. Sprite celebrates its 10th anniversary by releasing more teaser pics of Alcona Extra 2, as well as announcing that a brand new IP is being developed by them. Axis Games released a new Otomate VN, Pio Fiore Faded Memories on the Nintendo Switch. Cherry Kiss Games released a new Nukige called My Yandere Sister Loves Me Too Much. DL Site released an English translation of Wonko of Marriage, Welcome to the Dog's Tale, for anyone interested in dog girls. Manga Gamer released Rants 1 and 2 by Alsoft on their site. Just keep in mind that you have to buy them together. Manga Gamer made three new English localization announcements. Their first was a girl's love visual novel, Bear Sun Lights, Wanting Wings, Her and Her Romance. Their second announcement is Fun Bag Fantasy 3 If from Waffle. It's a reboot of the original Fun Bag Fantasy 3 that expands on the original story with a larger cast and multiple new heroines. The third announcement was Clock Up's How to Live a Healthy Hentai Lifestyle. Suketa Sparrow released The Curse of Kudan Remastered, which is a girl's love mystery visual novel. And that is it for October of 2020. 
As always, if you have any feedback, positive or negative, feel free to leave a comment below in this video or one of my social medias. See you all next month.